Hi Capricorn, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate the support. There are timestamps for you. They're located in the description box as well as the comment section. So you can skip ahead at any time. We're going to start with the person you're thinking about. Who is Capricorn thinking about? Who are you thinking about? Could be an air sign. We have the Ace of Swords, but... You know the truth about this person. It's telling me you have... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> um, this is a deep connection. Okay. So I'm getting like you've received some type of clarity on you and this person's deep ass connection. This is a soulmate connection, according to you and your intuition. Okay, the hanged man is all about enlightenment. Two of cups. Six of wands. Whoa. Somebody could work in the public eye, but... I'm getting a very deep soul connection, okay, has been brought into your attention with the Six of Wands. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? Ace of Wands in reverse, Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups. They feel like nothing can happen. So Ace of Wands in reverse is an energy of like impossible. Like Ten of Cups could be because there's another person involved. Okay, somebody could have a family with someone else or they have another relationship with someone else. So they feel the Ace of Wands in reverse. It feels like they feel like the connection is impossible. Eight of Cups. This is somebody walking away in disappointment. So it's like there's emotions there, but they feel like it's almost no point in pursuing. How do they see Capricorn? How do they see Capricorn spirit? How do they see Capricorn? Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, that you, they can't, they see you as on the defense, okay, or there's either blocks in communication, somebody may have blocked the other person, whether they blocked you or you blocked them, but again, this is them seeing you as someone they cannot communicate with. And I'm getting it's because of this Ten of Cups, there's, there's another situation involved. What do they want to do? Spirit, what do they want to do? Knight, Knight of Cups. Six of Cups. Five of Cups. Apologize. Five of Wands. The Hierophant. Three of Pentacles. They want to apologize for leading you on. So it's like this person really genuinely had emotion for you, but I'm getting they caused a lot of drama with the Five of Wands because guys, the Hierophant, they're obviously with somebody else. Okay, they're in a serious commitment with somebody else. And they know that brought drama to your life, and I feel like... There's a lot of tension, you know, they want to dissolve between you guys, but the Five of Cups is an energy of like, they don't really have a whole lot of hope that you're going to an, accept an apology. And they feel like they can't even talk to you anyway, whether you blocked them or they had to block you because they're afraid of you messaging them and somebody else seeing the message. So 
So it's, you know, Six of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is somebody that misses you. But it's almost like this person feels like they need to let you go because they feel like there's no hope. So what are they going to do about this? What are their next actions towards Capricorn? What are their next actions towards Capricorn? Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Is this person just acting distant towards you in November? Okay, this is November's energy. It's too hard. Something is just, Ten of Wands is that energy of like, I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, this person may have actually acted single. Okay, for some of you, they flat out told you they were not in a relationship. And then you may have found out otherwise, or this is how you're finding out. Okay, because the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, this person is stressing out in November because of this Nine of Pentacles energy, because they're not single, because they can't pursue you. So they feel like it's a waste of time if they were to even try or they can't even try because I'm getting there in a serious commitment with someone else and they caught feelings for you. It's a very, with the Five of Wands, this is a very messy, sticky situation. What was their hidden truth? They couldn't let you get close to them because they're with someone else. They admire you. This is someone who is secretly admiring you. I'm getting checking in on your socials. One more, please. Wow. They're trying to, for, like, they're burying themselves in work to try to forget you. Like, I do feel like this person is trying to avoid thinking about you, but I hate to break it to them. It doesn't work that way. Uh, it says, I see life differently now. I'm getting they see you everywhere, okay? It's like the more they try to avoid thinking about you, the more you're going to pop up in their head anyway. So, guys, the month of November, this person, I don't really see them taking much action towards you, but it's more so like somebody here is stressing out because they led you on is what I'm getting. We're going to take a look at the single Capricorns. You could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a water sign. I have strong Taurus here as well in Pisces. Single Capricorns. What is the message for single Capricorns, please? Okay, we have work. A lot of you guys are just focused on work, but I'm getting someone crushing on you at the workplace. Children. I'm getting like an innocent crush. Okay, of course, there could be children affecting your love life somehow, but... The main message I'm getting is that it looks like there's like an innocent crush, okay? Someone's wanting to be very playful with you at work. They want to have fun. One more, please. Spiritual growth. Okay, tell me more about the spiritual growth. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys just, whoever is crushing on you at the workplace, you have grown so much. Some of you have outgrown these childish situations. Or there's a situation, uh, you've outgrown just having fun is what I'm getting now. Not all of you have. That's neither good nor bad. That's just what the tarot is telling me. You've outgrown or lost patience for certain situations that don't seem serious. It's almost like if you see them having no potential, you're not interested, okay? So you might just kind of like the attention you're getting from this person in the future, but I'm just getting like a lot of you guys have outgrown these types of connections. 
So who's coming towards Capricorn in the month of November? Who's coming towards my single Capricorns? Ten of Swords. Somebody who hurt you. I mean, that's Ten of Swords coming towards you. The thing is, I mean, this is someone, it's kind of like you've lost them to find yourself. You know, you had a lot of patience with someone in the past, and then you've had this learning experience in bringing someone back towards you. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could have been in a relationship in the past and they're now single. Or this is somebody that definitely wouldn't commit. They're non-committal. But I'm getting if they were in a relationship in the past, somebody has broken up with someone else or that's coming. These are general. So are there any new energies coming towards Capricorn in November? Nine of Cups. Now, the newest energy I'm getting is there is somebody at your workplace that is crushing on you or at their workplace. I feel like a lot of you guys are just in the process of working on yourselves, okay, and manifesting your dreams right now in November, or that's something you need to be focused on. Eight of Wands. Communication is coming in. I am getting communication from a new person and a past person. Now, the past person is somebody that betrayed you, hurt you. What does Capricorn need to surrender? Surrender to rest and sleep in November. It says, to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Anything else? anything else I feel the need to pull you another one that's too many surrender to the wisdom of your body okay that's basically the same message surrender to rest and sleep and surrender to the wisdom of your body now the wisdom of your body is your intuition as well so those little inklings that you feel throughout the day it says, listen to your body's messages as a person or situation. Excuse me. It says, listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So I do see Capricorn, single Capricorns. There's a lot of spiritual growth, a lot of transformation you've been going through. So make sure you're getting enough rest. We're going to do whatever comes out. These are important messages for your sign at this time. What are the important messages for Capricorn? Energy. Protect your energy. I'm also getting back to that message, okay? You did not watch the singles portion. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Are ways that you can protect your energy. Okay, if something feels off about a person, place... Okay, you know, your intuition is telling you something about that person or place. I'm also getting if your energy fills off, okay, just sleep, go to sleep. To rejuvenate your energy, replenish your energy. It could be cleansing your home in November, doing some deep cleaning. We have pain. Who's in pain? You're picking up on the pain of others, Capricorn absorbing it this is empath energy you're absorbing the pain of others the confusion of others 
you must, uh, you know, practice becoming an empowered empath, okay? And even once we empower ourselves, we can, you know, backtrack. So just practice empowering yourself. Observe, don't absorb the energy. A lot of you guys could feel like exhausted because of other people draining your energy, their pain draining your energy. There's, there's some people that may be seeking comfort from you in November, and that could be draining your energy as well. Balance. Yeah, guys, make sure you're, you're practicing ways to balance out your energy, okay, and not absorb the pain of others. I do feel like there's somebody that you are energetically connected to, okay, energy. I feel like you're energetically connecting to someone and you are picking up on their pain, emotional pain, physical pain. I just saw discernment. So practice good judgments in situations. Look, and then we have peace. Prioritize your peace at all costs in the month of November. Seek out ways to stay balanced. And I feel like resting has a lot to do with that. Can I get an angel number for Capricorn, please? I feel the need to pull you an angel number. Give me an angel number for Capricorn for November. Angel number 777. So this also talks about inner strength. But the card says, I am in the flow. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is a part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. So I do overall see as the month progresses, you're going to feel a lot more at ease. You're going to feel a lot more calm and peaceful because you could be practicing ways to stay balanced, ways to be in the flow of life and in the flow of your energy. And also, you know, calling all of your energy back to you at nighttime. 777 is one of the luckiest numbers to me, okay, as a reader. So I do feel like you are in the flow with your purpose in abundance, okay? Anything else? Anything else for Capricorn? Let's see. I see you being very rational and logical, uh, especially if there's a, an argument breaking out in front of you or someone trying to start an argument with you. This could be advice to remain calm, rational, logical, okay? Especially if you work in customer service. But it is saying to make sure you take an unemotional approach towards the drama. Because it does look like conflict coming your way. And that could be why a big part of your message, Capricorn, was prioritize your peace, balance your energy. And now this is all about, uh, you know, falling into the routine of this. I'm also getting some of you guys may start a conflict by speaking your truth. I'm getting that. And, you know, what I have to say about that is it's like you can't be anyone else but you. You should, you know, live your truth, speak your truth. And your truth is not anyone else's truth, right? Your truth might be different, but, you know, be a part of the discussion, that's how we figure things out as a society or as, you know, a group of people, wherever your situation is. It's like, don't be afraid to speak your truth, even if it ruffles feathers. But make sure you're doing it in a level-headed, structured way, okay? An unemotional, level-headed, structured way. I do see you having success. There's some type of accomplishment or goal you are getting closer towards. Traveling to see family. There could be some arguments surrounding that. Yeah, I am getting some childhood friends or 
family members here you could be interacting with in the month of November. Feeling very playful, nostalgic, some type of reunion happening again. It is November. This is time that happens. And then we have the Four of Swords. Say no to things that can give you anxiety. Say no to things that do not bring you peace. Okay, just make sure you practice resting and just saying that, saying that little word no. Could be connecting with a fixed sign in November. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Strong Aquarius energy could be a fire sign. All right, we're going to do cross watchers. This is if you're dealing with this sign in November. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries wants a new beginning with you. If you are dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus is non-committal in the month of November. They just want to act single. If you are single, you could have a Taurus coming towards you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini wants to tell you their truth. What is their truth? The Hierophant. They want to get serious about you. For some of you guys, there's a Gemini, uh, specifically a Gemini thinking about marrying you, having, uh, you know, a serious commitment with you. They want to get right with you. They, they really do. But what's holding this Gemini back? The world. Motivation. <laughs> what? So Spirit's saying there's a Gemini that wants to commit, but they often feel distant and distant and imbalanced with themselves. They're very motivated to commit to you in November, though, but I've, I'm getting a wishy-washy energy from this Gemini. However, they're wanting to speak their truth. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer wants to take action. They are very attracted to you. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo wants to come back. There's a Leo that wants to turn things around with you. They want to come back. They feel like you're a part of their destiny. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo wants to work things out with you and rebuild. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra holds on to hope. But they're, they're trying to detach. I'm getting the Libras very disappointed with how things are going. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Eight of Cups in Reverse, they want to come back around. A Scorpio that walked away from you wants to come back. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius wants to message you or ask for your phone number. There's a Sagittarius that likes you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're trying to heal. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, they're trying to heal. But Capricorn, very interesting. we got the Four of Swords and the Capricorn energy. Okay. There's a Capricorn trying to heal. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aquarius is in love with you. The Aquarius has strong emotions towards you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces wants to make peace with you. The Pisces wants to make amends. You've had a falling out with a Pisces. All right. Those are your messages. If you got some clarity out of this, I do appreciate you liking the video. Thank y'all so much. And until next time, bye.